This is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Today what I want to talk about is stenosis. I've been in practice for about 17 years and we probably have had over a thousand cases that have come in with stenosis. Now stenosis is kind of a catch-all diagnosis and basically what st stenosis means is you have an opening where a nerve travels through and is being closed off or stenosed. And so this can happen in the central canal, so where the spinal cord runs through. And then there's also what they call IVF, inner vertebral frame and stenosis. Basically each vertebral level in the neck and the mid back and the low back, there's two spinal nerves that come off of the spinal cord and they exit what's called the inner vertebral foramen. Now, medically speaking, they usually say, well, you have stenosis because you're old but I've had patients come in at 25 with stenosis and I've also seen patients at 100 that don't have stenosis. So there's gotta be something that's underlying why stenosis happens in the first place. Now, since I'm a Blair upper cervical chiropractor, we're gonna talk about how the upper neck affects the posture of the body and how an upper neck misalignment can cause stenosis in far reaching areas of the spine that are not connected directly with the neck. Well, they are. Let me explain. So we know that the brainstem, which sits inside of C1 and C2, is responsible for controlling postural tone. So let's say you're, you're 16 years old, you, you're newly driving, and you get T-boned, or you T-bone someone, you have a big trauma, and it dislodges the upper cervical area. C1 gets locked under the head, and it irritates the cord that controls postural tone. So the first thing that happens when the atlas locks, the head gets off center and there's something called the writing reflex. That means that your eye, your body always wants to keep your eyes horizontal. So you have an atlas misalignment, the head's off center. What does the rest of the lower spine do? It adapts to bring the heads back or the eyes back into level. And what that does is it creates one shoulder higher than the other, one pelvis usually higher than the other. And if we were to look at the whole spine, we would find that there was a scoliosis or an imbalance in, in the structure of the spine. Now, when you have vertebra that misalign out of position at the neck and the rest of it adapts, throughout the entire spine, you have spinal misalignment. And where those spinal nerves exit, you can have an encroachment of the nerve, which is called stenosis. Now, if, it's, if you've been out of balance posturally for long enough, what your body does because it's carrying excess stress on one side of the body to work compared to the other, you can have areas of the spine that they're taking so much stress just from the imbalance in the posture that your body actually lays bone down on that area. Now, in those particular situations where there's true bony growths that are encroaching on the nerve, there's out there what they call the roto-rooter surgery. That's where they go in and they clean out the area around the IVF where that spinal nerve is coming out, which actually is pretty successful. If it hasn't reached that stage and you have stenosis just from spinal misalignment, Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic has been very successful in helping these cases. So if you're someone who is been, has been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, we have two offices in Los Angeles. Uh, one's in Koreatown proper, that's uh, near downtown, and then our other office is in the South Bay in Carson. Our Carson off office serves patients from Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, Carson, Compton, Long Beach, Cerritos, uh, Linwood, and lots of surrounding cities. In our LA office, we see people generally from the LA area. Um, we see people from Beverly Hills, we see people Burbank, Glendale, Pasadena, and surrounding cities. If you're outside the Los Angeles area and you are seeking a Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractor near me, that's you, um, you can call our office. We'd be happy to find you someone in your area that can uh, run a bunch of battery of tests and a consultation on you to see if your upper cervical spine is involved uh, with your st spinal stenosis problem. So I hope this video was helpful um, and those who are dealing with spinal stenosis and haven't found a solution other than swallowing pain medication um, and are looking for a more natural healing alternative, uh, Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic is a good 
uh, place to look. So hope this was helpful and educational and those that are suffering will find help. Thanks.